Hello, hi and namaste to my grade 4 students. Today we are going to learn about seeds. Okay, so before starting to the class, let's have a look for the syllabus of the seeds. What were things we are going to learn on these seeds? Let's have a look over here. First one is in seeds, we are going to learn about seeds and member of seeds. Okay. Then after, we'll define collections of sets. Then, methods of writing sets. Two, diagrammatic method, description or descriptive method, description or descriptive method. And last is listing method. Okay, students. Now, first one, before starting the exercise, before starting the topic, we must know about sets. Okay, when you used to visit to the different places, what you used to see over there? When you used to go for your fruits market, then different items of uh, fruits are seen over there, right? So we can say it a uh, collections of fruits. Just like that. If you move for your vegetable shops, grocery side, then what do you used to see over there? You used to see many types of vegetables are collected in one place, right? That means it's a collection of a vegetable. And what about your stationery shop? Whenever you visit to your stationery shop, then what do you will see over there? When you visit to the stationery shop, you used to see that different collections of books, notebooks, paint, pencil, color paints, magazines, right, newspaper, and so many things uh, we can find in the, we, sorry, <clears throat> we can find in the stationery shop. That means it's a collection of stationery objects. Okay, so like this way. If you move to the visit to the clothes shop, that means different types of clothes you can see. It's a collection of uh, clothes. Just like that, while you are learning the numbers, in numbers also, while you are learning over there, you can see different numbers. One, two, three, some of them are odd, some of them are even, some of them are prime, some of them are composite right so if it is different then it is the collection of the sets it's the collection of the numbers in the different group so students we can also make the group of a dollar students group of the sutter students group of the girls group of the boys just like that group of the family group of the neighbors we can do it so many things and this group is um, these groups are known as the sets. Okay, so that means student, we can say, how can we define the sets over there? A set is the collections of well-defined objects. So we can say is that a set is the collection of uh, well-defined objects. Just like that. Member of a set. How to know the member of a set? Okay, if I say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Can you say me? They are the member of the sets. If they make a one group, then it's a group. That group is a set. And inside that group, what were the name? What what things will belong to that group? That group is that belongings things are known as the member of the sets. For example, if I say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that means 2 is the member of that set, 4, 6, 8, 10. These are the member of the sets. Okay. If you are going to collect some fruits from the fruits market, then 
that collection one things you used to collect right that collection some maybe mango oranges apple grapes these are the if the name you know it then it's known as the member of the sets done okay then after we are going to learn about well defined collections of objects how we can say it's as a well defined and how we can we cannot say it's as a non well defined let's see here well defined well defined collection of objects mean what if you know the name of the things if you know the measurement for example students of grade 4 they used to come and sit in one class or we can say it one section okay remember students you have got four sections in your class grade 4 you are getting four sections in your class if i give the four section the name as a a b c d right a also that group that sections also belong the boys and girls they come from the different places whenever they come and enter inside the class they became grade 4 a a sections one students done okay it's mean it's a well defined they belong to that class that means it's a well defined if some of the students they come and join in that class right from group b from section b if they come some students come and join to the group a section a then can we say it is a well defined class no not at all so its call is non well defined for example next is there you are collecting some of the height okay some of the taller students in a one group okay if that that taller students in one group according to your measurement you just collect some of the student taller students in one group that taller students right taller students mean it's already defined taller right if you are going to mix that same taller students in other group then does it well defined no because you don't know what is the correct actual measurement of that taller student with next group students right so that mean one group if you are kept according to your measurement taller student that taller students group that is well defined if you move to the next group if they are going to the next group as a taller students then it's a non well defined done so we will practice on it also before that i have some questions for you have a look for the picture first picture can you cross out the not match picture that means which doesn't belong to that collection and then can you write the name of that set okay this is the first picture for you see here there are the vegetables and one fruit is that there have you seen that the apple let's cut out the apple and can you make a set we can say it's a collection is a set of vegetables after crossing out the apple done very good now let's have a second picture have you seen books paint pencils and the radio is there is it tape recorder or we can say it as a radio also so in this picture can we cross out that tape recorder okay let's cut it out and then we have to write it it is the set of stationary objects done okay same like this i have a next question over here a v e i o u among here which one is not belong to that group obviously b doesn't belong on that group so let's cut out the b and write down students a e i o is a set of vowels done okay same like this i have a next picture over there that is two four six eight five so here eight two four six 
8 and 5. See students, all are even and single 5 is the odd. Let's cut out the odd 5 and you can write it. It is the set of even number less than 10. Done? Good job. Same like this. Now, you have to tell me students whether they are well-defined objects or not. Okay. The first question is, it's a collection of pupils of class 4. Have you seen? This is the collection of a pupils of class 4. That means, it's well-defined. It is the collection of the students. Now, second question is, it's a collection of tall people of class 4. Collection of tall people of class 4. That means, its height is given over there. In which range it said it's a tall people. It's a tall student of the class. Do you know the range also? No. That means, it's a not well defined. Done? Okay, now you can say that the collection of the favorite vegetables. What is the collection of the favorite vegetables? Can you guess it? You have your own favorite vegetables. I have my own favorite vegetables. Our family have their, my mom have another, her own favorite vegetables. Your parents have a different favorite vegetables. Are they matched with each other? Obviously not. That means, it's none well defined. But the collection of your one vegetables, favorite vegetable, the collection of your one favorite vegetables, that means it's well defined. Only your is saying, right? Only my is saying. That means it's a well defined. Now, next is there. The collection of even number less than 20. Can we collect the even number less than 20? Obviously. So, it's a well defined. Now, last question you have to say me, okay? Whether it is well defined or not. The collection of girls having long hair. Well defined or not well defined? A, wow, very good. It's not well defined because long here, how much long? We don't know about it. That's why it's a non well defined. So, do you have any queries on it? I hope you don't have any queries and you understand this set. Member of a set, well defined collection of an object. Now, students. We are moving to methods of writing sets. So, student, are you ready for writing the methods of a writing sets? Okay. So, there are so many types. Right? The way of writing in sets. So, according to this, we have first, that is, diagrammatic method. It's already known over there. It's through a Diagram. Showing you a diagram. Okay. So, students, let's have a look over here. Inside this circle, oval, okay. Inside this one, if I write 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, can you say me what is this? I have shown you from the figure, right? These, we call it as a Diagrammatic method, showing, focusing through the figure, right? You can see in the picture also, previous one picture also, vegetables are showing, right? It's focusing to the vegetables and you are crossing out the apple. That means it's shown through the picture and you can easily identify on it. That means swing through the picture is we call it as a collections of a sets that is diagram through a diagrammatic method. Done? Okay. Then after. So what we can say is that see here students, this is a collection of a set. 
these are the how many members are there inside that figure see one inside this circle one two three four five then they are the member of the states okay just like this so from this also we can okay student from this also, we can say it that it is called a diagrammatic method of a writing sets. So, only writing this one also, we can show our sets. Okay. But we are in grade 4. So, according to our label, we have to write down the answers. So, next is there that is descriptive method. So, we are going to describe it. Descriptive method means simply... In this method, we describe the type of member of a state by using words. For example, we can say it, the state of, let's write the same equation one answers, okay. I'm going to write the answers of the state of, the state of collections of, or we can write the state of even number less than 11. We can write it. The set of collection of the set of collection of even number less than you can write 10 is here. You can write here 11 also or you can write even number as well as that is 12 also. The set of collection of even number less than 12. Done. This writing in words is known as the descriptive method. Writing in words. Done. Hey, this one showing through the diagram. It's a diagrammatic method. And writing the diagrammatic through a words. Then we call it as a descriptive method. Okay students. So simply here. Next is that. Lastly is there, there is listing out method. Now, how to write out the listing out method? Listing out means list out the name. Have you heard? List out the name starting with letter A. That means just you have to write the name of these students coming from the letter A. Just like Avas, Ayus, Arushi. Okay. That means it's starting with letter A. That means it's a listing method. Okay, that means let's write over here the listing method. In this method, we just simply list out the set. Member of the set inside a curly bracket. Now we are going to use a curly bracket to list out the name of the objects so for this also for listing out while listing out the member of the objects there must be a compulsory you have to use a comma you have to put a comma for separation of the objects okay so we can name that object by using a capital letters for example or we can write, if it is a number, we can write as it is in a big letter. Okay, so the listing method means we can write it as a, a equals to, I have given the name as a, a okay, set of A. Curly bracket to comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma it's 10 curly bracket close. I hope you understand it very well. Now, students, have a look. Have a look on it. So, I hope you understand these things, right? Let's have a review of the class and I will provide you some questions to practice it over here. Okay. So, first one is sets. What is a set? It's a member. It's a collection of the well-defined objects. Member of the sets coming which bounded inside the circle or we can say if it is bounded inside a curly bracket then we call it as a member of a set. Then after well defined collection of objects. 
You already known about it. Well defined. Your favorite food and our favorite fruits. Your only singular person, single person. If it is denoted for the single person, that means it's a well defined. It is collection of all people. Then it's a non well defined. Then methods of writing sets. Grateful, you have to focus more on it. That is diagrammatic method showing through the diagram. Then after descriptive method by simply writing it in a words or to describe in a words. Then after listing method to list out that member inside a curly bracket. Okay, I hope you understand this one now some questions is for your practice are you ready students i hope you all are ready over there now students you have to say me that what we call for it it's a collection of odd number less than 13, right? So, it is shown through a picture. That means we call it as a diagrammatic sets. So, can we list it out? Yes, of course. By listing it out, then what we have to do? Listing method. For a listing method, you have to write in a curly bracket you can give a simply give a name as a a equals to curly bracket one three five seven nine eleven done okay then can you describe it okay let's describe it the set of odd numbers Less than 13. Have you written? This is known as the diagrammatic method. This is this is first diagrammatic method. This is second. We can say it as a listing method. Listen very carefully, okay? It's listing method and this one is descriptive method by describing it. Okay? So for questions, another question I will provide to you. Be ready for it. Okay, students, have a look for this one. The question is given in form of a listing method. Now you have to write in a descriptive method. Then how to write? The set of multiple of 3 less than 18. Or we can write it the set of first 5 multiples of 3. Can we write it? Let's write it. The set of first 5 multiples of three done okay students i hope you understand this topic next day with the next episode i will be back for you with a new session new classes okay so till that time stay safe at your home